everybody and good morning. I am Lilac St. Clair and today I am on my way to Palm Springs to check out the Palm Springs Vintage Market. I am at the gas station right now filling up and I'm about to head out. So this is the last show of the season before they break for the summer, uh, before it gets evil hot and uh, it's a little bit too hard to go shopping even though it is super super early in the morning uh, again to avoid the desert heat so I am on my way right now and I am super excited to check out what's in store what mid-century goodies I could find and I am taking you along with me come on shop with me
Okay, I just got back home from the market and it was absolutely amazing. I had my shopping partner Tiki with me and we got some unique items at great prices. I will show you the haul after this, but most likely I am going to be taking a nap before that because I had to wake up at 5.30 this morning to head over. They started the... Um, they started the market at 7 a.m. instead of 8 a.m. because of the heat. And by 11 o'clock, it was getting pretty dang hot out. So I was ready to go home. But because I got there early, I already had dibs on the items that I was looking for. So I cannot wait to show you the haul. So stay tuned. Okay, everybody who is ready for a haul. I had so much fun at the Palm Springs Vintage Market. I cannot wait for it to come back in October so I could go again. And I wasn't the greatest uh, at the shop with me part. You'll see it's only about seven minutes worth because I got very excited and I just started shopping and I had got tunnel vision and I promise the next time you have a shop with me, it is going to be much better. I'm actually in the process today of finishing up editing another shop with me that is over 30 minutes. So I definitely think that I'm getting better. <laughs> so let's get into the haul. The first thing that I picked up was just this little pot holder. I thought it was cool. It was kind of a Celtic knot. It had lavender in it and different purples. When I asked how much it was, they said a dollar. I swiped it up. So, you know, I can't, I can't uh, turn down something with, with a little bit of purple in it, you know? I was driving around getting ready to offload one of my uh, loads of items because some of them were kind of large and I drove past these adorable, you can see the, these vintage Montgomery Ward wooden heels. They look like they were never worn and they are a size nine. I'm normally about a size eight, but these are, you know, an open sandal and they tie at the ankle. So for photo shoots and for a little kind of one-off things, these are gonna be perfect. They look really cute and they are the perfect shade of lavender to go with half of the stuff that I own. So I was very excited to find those. Uh, one thing that I'm always on the lookout for, one of my many collections, is vintage nightgowns and robes. The problem is I have so many robes, but I was in somebody's booth and I saw this, I mean, this thing just goes on and on and on. It goes all the way down to the floor, um, but this gorgeous olive color, very 60s vibes. I mean... I feel like, you know, the mother on Bewitched would be wearing this in her boudoir. It does have some lavender flowers on it. The gathered neckline, it cost me $10 and it looks pretty much brand new. There's one little tiny snag at the bottom, but nothing at all that is going to be a pain. So. Another thing that you guys probably saw in my video, there was that amazing table of the lady that had the big giant Cupid doll. She had all kinds of stuff. It looked like she maybe bought out an estate sale from somebody that just had great taste. <laughs> so one of the things that I purchased from her, uh, cause she was kind of just like, adding in things and not really adding that much more extra on top of it. So I just kind of kept adding items, adding items, just kind of putting them in the pile. So one of the things that I picked up for only about $10, I figured, was this twin. It's about a twin size. It's a cotton, I would possibly say handmade, hand embroidered. Uh, bedspread. It does have flowers towards the top uh, similar to a chenille bedspread and then the edging where it would go off of the side of the bed has this really beautiful uh, trim with these kind of cool colors and for $10 you know there's like a little bitty hole here in it 
but that's something that I can easily, easily patch up. For $10, I'll either keep it, because you can see this is beautifully hand done. I mean, even in the the flowers, these little French knots are a mixture of yellow and black. It's just a gorgeous piece, and whoever hand did this, they definitely hand did this. If you could see some of the, the flowers in there. I couldn't leave it. I have a twin bed uh, for guests when they come and stay, so I thought I'd pick it up, either that or I could possibly resell it down the line if I decide not to use it for myself. But it has the magic color purple in it, so there's a very good chance I will be keeping that. Okay, so something if you live in the 1950s, you know, Barbie dream house, like I plan to when I get to finally own my own home. I will be looking as soon as my lease is up again. I, you know, love those beautiful vintage fancy towels and, you know, just kind of have a show towel not to be used. I'll have to make sure to tell people don't use my vintage towels. <laughs> but I saw this cool lavender. It's a floral bouquet. It's double sided. And it looks like whoever owned this also used it as a show towel because it looks brand new. I asked how much money it was. They said $5 and I snagged it like real quick, really, really quick. <laughs> so another thing that I found were some ephemera items. I always love anything vintage holiday. I think a lot of people do, which is why it costs so much money. But I was excited to find some of these vintage Valentines. He's so cute. Look at him. And he's got like his little trombone that goes, oh, let's see if we do it like this. It goes in and out and then the music note pops out. It says, to my valentine, since you're the valentine, I'd win. Now please take note, I'm horning in. Let's have some close harmony. Look at how cute he is with his little, his little heart on his hat. And this was to Mary Eleanor from Bernie. Uh-oh. I wonder, uh... I wonder if they're together to this very day. <laughs> All of these ephemera items that you're gonna see were only 50 cents each. I, by that time, was getting a little bit hot and tired, so I only kind of flipped through quickly and just saw things that popped out at me, so I only got four items for now. But I know a lot of these vendors also do multiple shows, so if I don't catch them before October, I may actually see them at another show. This one I thought was really cute. It says, oh, Valentine, no lion. You really are a lamb. I love you, Dad. And I just thought this was so cute with the little lamb carrying the heart. And this is kind of like a little 3D piece. It doesn't pop out, but, you know, it's like a little cut piece there. And that's how they... Uh, they did it there. They just like folded this in and popped him through. So I thought that was cute to kind of have, you know, like you do with ephemera, frame it, hang it up, put it in a display for the holidays. Another awesome Valentine's. I think actually no, one is a birthday. Everything else I got were Valentine's. So this one I loved because it had the purple flowers on it. It was kind of a vellum paper and it says away from home on Valentine's Day and it has the beautiful hearts, the little love note. This has, it says Buzza Cordova or Cordoza on the back. And then when you open it up, it has some more gorgeous graphics. And you can kind of read that there, but I thought this was pretty on the inside and the outside. So I'm not really sure. This might have to just be out so people can kind of thumb through it because it's just as beautiful in and out. Uh, the final item that I got, it's a happy birthday sister card, but I couldn't pass up these illustrations. There's a little black poodle. There's a woman in a fabulous green dress and a pink hat that I would wear any day of the week. A bunch of men kind of 
<laughs> following her, catching up, you know, kind of trying to hello, say hello. <laughs> And then on the inside, it says you're a grand person, sister, and every action shows it. And though other folks may think that's true, this comes from someone who knows it. And then inside there, you have the poodle running away. But luckily, she has one of her little bows to help her follow after the doggy and catch up with it. But I just couldn't pass up these illustrations, you know, the vintage illustration style is probably my favorite by far and you know it's just it's just stuff that you can't find uh reproduced okay so moving on to some slightly larger items one thing that i found again like i said because i am trying to do a 50s style home once i move i found this super cool pink with a little bit of glitter, if you can see that. But it is a pink, oh yeah, yeah, you can see it. There you go. Uh, it is a pink bathroom scale. It does work. I'm not gonna show you. You will take my word for it. You, you, you're not gonna trick me that fast. <laughs> but this is a super awesome 1950s, uh, you know, very kind of indicative of that time period and I am super excited to have that for my bathroom. It's going to add another level of authenticity that I am very, very excited about. All right, what else do we have? Okay, so something that is super cool is finding new old stock items, especially things like, you know, I would probably say I get joy out of finding new old stock vintage accessories and clothing and things like that as much as people find joy in ephemera items because both are things that you not normally would find brand new. It's items that should have been used by now at least once. So finding them in the box all these years later are really, it's really exciting and again, just like the illustrations on the greeting cards, the box art is to die for. And you know, some of the things that we like about collecting these items is you're basically touching and owning and, you know, appreciating illustrations that you may not be able to find anywhere else. You know, this is pre-internet, so the only way that you would see it on the internet is if somebody scanned it in, took a photo and sold it on eBay or Etsy. Um, you know, otherwise you're discovering it like golden treasure. So that is why I love finding new old stock items and also ephemera that has some great illustrations, great graphics as a graphic designer. I am such a huge fan of that. And the first thing that I found is the Robinson's nylon packaging. It is in the box. Yes. These cost me $5. They're all packed up still. I mean, literally like packed, packed, packed up. They are in here. This is, um, this is, I think, possibly one this may either be one pair or one um one uh nylon it might be one pair but it's like folded and then a piece of paper is in there and then folded and then paper so like the nylon is never laying on itself it is a very i would say decadent i mean you can kind of see how thick how thick this packaging is with all of these layers of nylon and paper that you you just feel like at this point now you have to keep like this you know it survived all this time who am I to pull it away but the only thing that was unfortunate is this looks like they wrote the price in pen on the front which I'm not excited about but it was five dollars that I am excited about but I can figure that out and try to do something with that. I'm thinking it might be kind of cool to keep the boxes in um, on a shelf, maybe in my bedroom and something like that, and I can kind of stagger them. The second thing that I found brand new in the box, look at this cool, look at the cool graphics on this. I mean, and the thing that is awesome is it goes with the nylon box perfectly. So these are probably gonna be like this you know, in a display. 
I think it's going to be really, really great. But what this is, is a nightgown, brand new in the box. I think this was $20. <clears throat> but first of all, brand new in the box, you get to keep that uh, for a you know, display piece. But it is also a really, really adorable, plain nightgown. The thing that's hard is a lot of the times, and look at this gorgeous lace that's at the bottom. I mean, it's it's really beautiful. And the fact that it's so light, it will go with a lot of my different colored robes. They're kind of in the pastel family, everything that I have for the most part, except for my leopard. <laughs> but it's hard sometimes to find the nightgowns because, you know, you wash those more, you got more wear out of them, you don't see them as often with the robes. So I actually have a bunch of robes and not a lot of nightgowns. So I found a nightgown today, or actually yesterday at the antique mall, which I was excited about, a long one. This is gonna be my short one. And having the graphics along with it is super exciting. And I was just beyond stoked to find that. So. A couple other items that I am going to insert some videos on are, first of all, in that same booth where the lady just kept adding, adding, adding items and not really adding too much more to my total, there was a beautiful uh, pink lady statuette, a little figurine. She has yellow roses on her dress and she also has a basket with yellow flowers and kind of a cute little sassy look. She is the height of some of my other um, figurines. She's about the height of a larger Florence figurine if you're familiar and she was only about $5 I'm figuring in because at the end of the day I left with a full bulk price. The second thing that I also got from that woman, and I'm gonna show you a few other things, are these amazing, amazing can kitchen canister set. It's a four piece set. They are in perfect condition, no dings. I mean, there's a little bit of wear, but there's no bends, there's no rust. The plastic tops are in perfect condition, and the gold design is going to go with some of the other gold elements that I have in some vintage kitchen pieces that will go with that. Okay, so we are back to the live haul portion. The next thing that I'm going to show you, now we're getting a little bit more into the fancy stuff. So the first thing, I am a complete sucker. I think you, I mean, look behind you. Look at all those stretch vases. I love a good stretch vase. So the first one is this absolutely enormous stretch vase. It has grapes on it. It was originally marked $25. Boop. It's originally marked $25 and I just asked her, you know, uh, what's, what's the lowest you can do on this? She said, oh, 15. So I grabbed it. I think this baby is probably 18 to 20 inches, possibly a little bit more. It's really, really big one. And it actually goes with some of my swung vases that are not these super clear ones that you see behind my shoulder. I have some that are slag glass mixture with uh, clear glass and then the milk glass goes really nicely with it. That kind of is in my pastel section. And then this is a little bit more of the traditional clear Viking style stretch vases and things like that. So talking about Viking stretch vases, I got another big mamma jamma. I've been wanting the big stretch vases for two reasons. I haven't completely gotten them. There is one back there that is a beauty that I got from Antiques from Karen, who is Janet. She sold me this gorgeous Amberina. It's back there. It's a carnival glass uh, eight finger vase. And I actually will be showing that in another haul, so. Now let's talk about this guy. So this is a beautiful green Viking stretch vase. I mean, look at these beautiful swagged pieces that come out there. It has the type of stretch that I like. I'm not as partial to the ones that just kind of like 
slope up as much. I like when it looks like you literally had it upside down. Oh, the price just fell out. When you have it literally upside down and it just drips. So this one cost me $20. This is a huge vase. This is by my head. Boop. This is by my head. It's big. It's really, really big, you guys. So... I am excited to add this to my collection. You might have seen this in one or two of my other videos behind me, especially when I was on Vintage and Vinyl, Katie's channel, talking about my Tiki collection. It was proudly displayed behind me there. Okay, I think I have two more items from that amazing woman's table where I got the figurine, where I got the bedspread. So one thing that I found is another accessory item. And for anyone that loves vintage fashion and evening wear, you can, uh, you can love the beauty of a carved, I'm gonna take this, um, handkerchief out of here so you can see the item a little bit better but this is a carved lucite purse with a textured handle there it's kind of like a twisted rope texture it has this super deep carvings this is the this is how the top looks and the inside I mean look at how clean and pristine this thing looks it has all of the carving on this side an item like this in great condition can run about $150 to over $200 so when I snagged this for $65 I had to snatch it up I have one other lucite purse that I paid $150 for but it's because it is in perfect condition similar to this no smoking in the lucite no scratches or anything like that so I was very very excited to find that and have it bulked into that group price because it just made everything so much cheaper because I think she started at $100 for that and then when I started buying things and adding things to my pile she just started like I said she was like okay yeah you want that like that's like another like three dollars oh yeah five dollars for that yeah ten that's good so it was like really exciting and basically everything on that table even in some of the video I looked and I was like why did I not get the garlic saver that was stupid why did I not buy that big cookie jar um you know I think at that point too it was kind of halfway through a little bit early I was trying to pace myself so I think I maybe didn't want to go too overboard but you know how it is you watch the videos back and you're like oh my god I should have I should have bought that and that and that but you live and you learn you know Okay, so the last thing that I got from her was a smash of a deal, but look at this. Does anybody know who this is? Whole Towered. It's a trinket tray, you know, it's not one of the uh, coveted figurines, but um, I, to have any piece of Whole Towered at this moment is exciting for me. I normally can't afford those items, but it is definitely something that I'm looking for. This trinket tray only cost me $10. There are a couple of little, um, some of these, these are not all uh, dings. It's also painted like this. There are a couple of tiny little scratches, but I can fix that up. Otherwise, Oh, sweet Jesus. I swear to God, I dropped something at every single time, but luckily it fell onto the pile of linen, so linen saved the day. Okay, we'll just leave Mr. Holt Howard trinket dish over there for now, but I'm excited to have a little bit of Holt Howard, and hopefully that will help me manifest a little bit more while I am shopping up until Christmas because I would absolutely love having a vintage kitschy Christmas along with my reproduction kitschy Christmas. Okay, now we are at the second to last item. I'm so excited to show it to you. It's a big guy, so let me get it. Okay, hang on a second. <laughs> All right, these last items I'm going to show you were from the same person and then one thing is again from that woman that was bulking everything together for me. So this item, I drove past, I saw all this gorgeous teal and I saw this super 
great mid-century lamp. It is an amazing teal color with the gold gilding. There's no chips or cracks on it. It does work. It doesn't have the uh, lampshade, but even without that, a working mid-century lamp like this with the gilding, especially in this green teal color, is worth, I would probably say easily around $75, possibly $100. And I paid $25 for it. So I will be able to make a nice little profit on that. And I'm super excited. I cannot announce it yet. But there is a reason why I am stocking up a little bit extra. But I will announce that for you guys later on. Okay, so the last thing that I have is a stunner. Are you guys ready? Okay, so the first thing is from the woman that bulked everything together and it is this amazing bowl this teal stretch bowl it has the gold splatter that I am a sucker for and can you see this console bowl shape this pedestal and it has all these swoops and points that it comes up to it is California I think it's just California pottery Oh no, it's a California Original. California Original pottery there. You can see it on the bottom. There's no chips or cracks on it. It's a super great piece. And then I found this actually second, but I wanted to save the best part of this marriage for last. And if you're not familiar with the term, we call a marriage when you find two, I two or more items that were not created with the intention to match or go together, but by luck and by fate, they do go together, in fact. So you can make a married set of items that may not have otherwise been intended to be a set. So the last part of this marriage and the last part of this haul, thank Jesus, thank you for hanging in there with me. So I was, you know, bopping down with Tiki. You guys saw him that he was in the shopping cart or he was in the stroller with me. who's my little shopping buddy. And I'm bopping around and I see this uh, table again with the teal lamp on it and I was like oh my gosh I have to have those there was a couple looking at them hold it oh I don't know if, mm, do we want these I'm and you know that you know ha have you ever been at the at the, the flea market the antique store when you see something that you want so bad and the whole time in internal monologue is get out of here get out of here get out of here I want to buy that I want to buy that Screw off, screw off, screw off. <laughs> I've been there. I'm sure you've been there. And I was he there here, okay? And you're going to see why. So I saw, are you guys ready for this? Oh, my God. <laughs> ah! Look at these teal splattered pheasants. Oh, my God. They're fabulous. With the And, I mean, they're huge, too. Like, you guys can see. Bop. That's that's um, them compared to my head. So they are big guys. But I'm going to insert a little video here now. Now so you can see that these are a marriage, a beautiful console set that I'm going to cherish. I did not intentionally uh, expect to have a turquoise set up, but it is going to go perfectly with the pinks and the lavenders that I have. I'll just have a pastel set up. So, ah, this was the last bit of my haul. Oh, I did not mention how much this is. So, the bowl was $10. This, I first, I started and I said, okay, um, how much, how much for the figurines? And she's like, uh, and I'm telling you guys, little insider tip, when they are kind of wishy-washy generally, that's a good sign. And she goes, $25? for the set and I could not give her my cash fast enough. $25 for the two of these plus the $10 console bowl makes a $35 mid-century gold splattered amazing console set that I am going to proudly 
have. I've already gotten compliments from people that have come by and seen me post vaccination, which I'm super excited about. So I cannot wait to do more shop with me's with you. I'm gonna get a lot better at showing you more of the actual shopping portion. And thank you for sticking through with me. And as always, make sure Pheasant Bird wants you to like, subscribe, comment, ring the bell notification because when I do another shop with me, another haul, or I show some of the other shenanigans I get up to, you're not going to want to miss it. So as of always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.